So I closed down JMRI, plugged in the layout, hooked it up to the accessory bus, and I'm reopening. Um, we're going to make sure that we're programming everything on the main. Make sure over here you're on direct. And here's the new Signalman file that I created. Once I programmed it, its own unique address of 9991. So we're going to program on main, hit program. And now once this opens up now, this is its own unique uh, DCC entry. So everything that we're going to program now is unique to this signalman, signalman number 9991. Uh, the first thing I usually do is the brightness. You can adjust everything, uh, but what you're going to do to make sure that it's reading, focus is crazy here, uh, just hit the write full sheet once you make your changes. And as it goes, you should see your yellow status indicator on the signalman flashing, and that's telling you that it's now accepting the command to, uh, to make the changes here. Um, only on that one. So again, uh, make sure you are never ever programming 9999 on the main on your layout. Because what's going to happen is when you program 9999 on the main on your layout, every single signalman that's connected is going to take that program. And it's going to reset it all back to 9999 and you'll have to pull each of them off your layout plug them into your program track or in my case I ran a you know 30 foot long jumper from my program track to each signalman um, so again let me say that again make sure you never ever ever program 9999 on the main on your layout where the other signalmen are connected because it will send a command to every one of them and change its address back to the default of 9999. So once you're doing that, now you're going to start working on your masts. And the way that I'm uh, programming these are as sing uh, signal mast decoders. Uh, so it's a little confusing, but once you kind of get the gist of it, it's very easy. So again, this is signalman number 9991, but we have to give each signal head its own unique address. So the best way to explain this is actually looking at the decoder. It makes it seem a lot simpler. When you first look at this gigantic thing, it, it's kind of confusing, but the way that we're gonna do, we're gonna check signal mass. We're gonna change all these, change the whole page, set them to mass. And right here, um, where it says number one, this is actually going to be the, kind of like almost like the accessory number for that signal head. So, um, right, if you're familiar with turnouts, or every turnout gets its own accessory decoder, or if you have light it's every signal gets its own light it uh, signal accessory number. So this is gonna be the signal accessory number uh, that makes that signal unique on your system. So it's different than the signalman. The signalman up here, right, gets its own address of 9991, and then each of these four signal, try to get this in focus. Each of these four signal outputs gets its own address as well, uh, depending on your signals. So I'm using two headed masts. So in my case, um, one head is going to be, uh, I'm sorry, one signal two heads is going to be two of these. So each head, the top head will be number one here, and the bottom head will be number two. And then my second signal mast, the top head will be number three, and the bottom head will be number four. So each head gets its own unique address, and that's how JMRI can communicate to it uh, to tell it what to do. So let's go ahead and start building our first mast. So the first mast, uh, is going to be number let's just make it number 1300 that's going to be his accessory number the uh you're going to come over here where it says zero stop that's going to be your aspect 
So if you keep it on zero stop, you'll be programming a stop indication for signal mass number 1300. You're gonna come up here to lamp A, H1 is H1 right here on the decoder. So on a, on a stop indication, in my case, I want a red over red. So that's gonna be H1 red over H2 red. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna set H1 to red. We want it to be steady. That means it's on rather than flashing. Uh, lamp B is gonna be H2. That's the second head. You come over here to phase, we're gonna set it to steady because we want it to be on. And then they give you the option for two more lamps. I guess if you're doing uh, like three or four signal head uh, masts, but I'm not right now. So in, in my case, uh, the, I'm just gonna leave these blank and I'm gonna make sure that it's the flash here is set to none. If it's set to steady, that's gonna turn it on. So we wanna make sure that's set to none. Over here, lamp D set to none and lighting effect. Um, you can do different things. I like the fade where it kind of fades the LED in and out. Um, so yeah, so that'll be a stop indication for signal mass 1300. Uh, we'll keep rolling, let's say 1300. Let's say the next, next aspect that we're gonna program is a clear, number 29. We want H1, which is our, our top head. We want it to be green. H1G, steady. And we want our bottom head, H2, to be red. With a steady phase, none, none, and a fade effect. So right now we have signal mass number 1300. We have a stop indication ready to be programmed. And we have a clear uh, aspect ready to be programmed. All right, we're back and the signalman is now connected to the signals positioned where it should be on the layout, everything's hooked up. And I'm just gonna run you through the basic programming now. We're back in our, um, our signalman uh, decoder page and I settled on an address for the westbound mast. You know, this is the mast, it's now both of these signals. The westbound is gonna be address 1240 and the eastbound is gonna be 1241. And just to go over the line of programming, so my first aspect that I'm programming to the, to the westbound mast is a stop indication, which is H1, which is the top, is a red, over H2, which is the bottom, is a red, uh, with a, a fade effect, make sure everything's steady, the next indication is a clear. That's going to be an H1 top green, H2 bottom red. Uh, next is going to be an approach, H1 yellow on top, red on the bottom for H2. Uh, medium clear, which is a H1 red. It's a red on top, H2 green on the bottom, uh, just because this is going to be at a crossover. So you get the gist. Um, you do all... All my 1240s, that's the westbound mast, and then 1241 is the eastbound. When you fill up mast A page, just click over to mast B and continue 1241. Now the beauty of the signalman programming on the main, when I hooked up my signalman to the signals, I actually ended up doing it backwards and I put the top head accidentally to uh, head four on the signalman and the bottom to head three. So when I did my programming, I had uh, H3, which is now the second mast top head, was actually the bottom head. Uh, so rather than having to climb back under the layout and switch all the wires around, which is kind of a pain, all you got to do is come here and just switch your heads. So instead of head, like for instance, for the top one for the approach, uh, instead of head three being yellow and head four being red, you can easily just change it to head four yellow, head three red, just backwards. 
Uh, and then um, once you're done with this, you I always write the full sheet so that it gets the whole thing. Um, and then you're gonna head over to your Panel Pro, if that's what you're gonna use. You're gonna create your signal mast. You don't have to create heads anymore. You're gonna do straight to signal mast. And you're gonna add new, and I'll just open up mine just so you can see it. Um, I'm using CSX 1998 just because it has all of the uh, aspects that I need. Uh, the latest edition of JMRI uh, Panel Pro allows signal masks to be unlit even if it doesn't have uh, an aspect here. Uh, so that's good. Um, and that's going to be aspect 31. And again, that would be in your chart here. Uh, here's my my dark right here, 31. Uh, it doesn't really matter on the heads, just make sure you get both of the heads, like H4 and H3. Uh, and for lamp flash, you put none, because that means there's there's nothing on. Um, so we'll come back here to the mast. And this is where you're gonna transcribe your aspects from when you programmed it to your mast. So right here, we need a clear aspect the aspect ID is 29. You get that from your programming page. Come over here and aspect right here, 29. So we already built that and program. We told the signalman that for aspect 29, the top head is green and the bottom head is red. And that's what's going to reflect here when you give it aspect 29 for a clear. It now knows, okay, the top head is green and the bottom head is red. Uh, and you're just going to work your way down your aspects, decide on what you need. Um, up here, where you go, right here is where your accessory address is going to go. So 1241 is the same as over here, 1241. Uh, that's my second mast on the signalman. So that's how you know what mast you're programming. And that's where it goes on your JMRI. So you just go through any aspects that you're not going to use. You just click disable. Uh, you're going to, you can also copy from other masks down here. So rather than having to, um, you know, put in the aspect IDs uh, four or five different times, you can just copy it. And then once you're done, hit apply. And then right here, you can just cycle through your aspects. Uh, and check the signal on the layout to make sure that it's responding appropriately. And now your mast is in Panel Pro. And then from there, you can either do signal mast logic or what I do is I use logics. Um, I find it a little easier and you can start programming and have fun. Hope this helps. And uh, if you have any questions, post it up and I'll, uh, I'll try to get back to you. Thanks again.